If you want to unmod your Xbox and it's a soft mod, uh, get True Hexen 2021 for the Xbox. If I can find a link to where I got it, I'll throw it in the description. If not, um, I will search for it and throw it in the description. The one I got is halfway in uh, Spanish and half of it is in English, which is a little weird. And I can't find a way to actually reset it. I've gone through every avenue I can think of. It's an English ear. Yet it's <clears throat> still got some Spanish. So and it's got a bunch of other stuff that I'm not going to use on it. Um, so I'm just going to unmod it and then mod it myself. Um, so we've got the, whoa, zoom out. The True X in 2021. Turn it off. Come on. Turn it back on. So I know sometimes if you just pop it in, it won't do anything. And on the Xbox, it'll freeze. So I just restarted it with it in there. And if it's if it's soft modded, it will it will pop this up just fine. And zoom in there again. And the main reason I'm setting it to to stock is mainly because of the language, I guess. I mean, I could look it up every time I wanted to use it, but I, there's a bunch of weird stuff on this thing that I can't quite figure out and a bunch of applications that I'm not gonna use. So I'll just undo the mod and then do it myself. You go to Dashboard Tools. Uh, dashboard Repair Tools. Restore hard drive to stock. And it'll give you a, uh, a warning your Xbox is soft modded, this will move your soft mod and you will no longer be able to boot this disk. All existing data on your hard drive will be deleted and continue. And I'm gonna click yes. And then it says it's gonna format everything and restore it to stock, all files will be lost, continue. So it does a double confirmation basically. Click A, both triggers and start. Oh, let's see if I can do this with, uh... oh, I cannot, I'm gonna set this down. And it comes back up with this again. Let me set the set down. And there we go. I'm doing it. Set. Unleash X has finished preparing your drive. Press both triggers and start to continue. Sorry about the up down. I do not have three hands. There we go. It's uh, restoring back to stock, and I'll just hold this up uh, for anybody that wants to watch it as it does its thing. Yeah, I got this thing uh, off of eBay. Um, not knowing exactly what it had, the description wasn't that great, and the person selling it didn't know exactly what they had. And I got a Controller that's a little messed up. I gotta try to fix that. Um, got this one that works just fine. I've um, got these other ones I'm gonna repair or do whatever to. I, I'm not sure yet. There we go. All right, now let's back on out. Reboot and shut down. Now let's see if it took. It did not take, apparently. Shut this thing down, open it up. Well, it did actually go into English there. Odd. Xbox Live, memory.
Okay, that's odd. It uh <clears throat> didn't actually. Okay, went the uh, language went back to stock. Uh, let's. Uh, <laughs> I intended this to be a totally different video. Um, let's pop this open again. Swap. Put the disc in. And see if it actually reads. And we have a drive error. Well, I guess one way we could do it is go into memory. Oh, the emulators are gone. There was a bunch in there. Jackson, do, do, do. Well, it appears it did actually reboot it back to stock. And that is what I wanted. Language. Obviously English. It's in it's in English. We're reading it in English. System info. Okay. Yeah, we're good. There we go. That's that's how you do it. Um, sorry for the long video for some <laughs> something so simple. Uh, yeah. Thanks for watching.